Hey everybody, what is up? Fourth Seraph here. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my house. Now we have actually just sold our house and so that's why I'm actually showing you the outside of it a little bit in this video because otherwise normally I wouldn't. But I'm going to take you through where I was living. I know a lot of you guys, if you've seen the streams or some of my other videos, you've probably seen my room but you've never seen the rest of our house. So I want to show you around. It's a little empty in there. We started getting rid of some of our furniture, but why don't you come with me and I'll show you where I live. So this is what we get as we come into the house here. This is our little entryway room. We have rooms off to the right and to the left. That was backwards, but that's okay. Then we have a chandelier up there and our staircase. That's my room up there. We'll go up there in a minute. First, we'll start off over here to the left. So this is the living room. And these rooms are mostly empty at this point. There was like a couch here and a dining room table and stuff back there, but we'll focus on this room for now. So there was a couch here and then this table is more in the middle. We got some shelves built in. We got a fireplace. We've got a painting still up there, one of the few paintings we have left in the house. And then we get a view outside of the neighborhood and some of the garden. Don't really come in this room much, to be honest. If you saw my $1,000 shoe video a long, long time ago, you will have seen that room before. This was our dining room. So we have a chandelier here that I will actually turn on right now. There we go, a mirror. We used to have other furniture all along here and then a big dining room table all throughout this room. But we have again gotten rid of that. You can see out here there is a space. There's a little garden. It's kind of, I call it the Zen garden. There's a little fountain. It gets really overgrown and was really annoying to take care of. So I, Try not to go out there or think about that. That's actually, seems like a cool part of the house, but actually really sucks. All right, here we are going into the kitchen. So we have a pretty open kitchen. Really the only wall is this one here. And then kind of have that there, microwave, oven, all that type of stuff. Cooktop and everything right there. Shelves. These are really cool because it's all the way see-through. So this is like the breakfast nook. So this is where we almost always eat. We had a bigger table in here, like a normal sized dining room table. Sold that as well, gotten rid of that. And so we just have this little one for the meantime. But we always eat in here because it's really cool. You have all the windows that look out and you have the glass ceiling. And so it's really pretty to sit out here and eat. And you can see the whole backyard facing the kitchen from this way. You can see right there that goes to the entryway. Just back in that hall, we just, we just have a pantry and a bathroom, nothing too special about that. But we have the built-in fridge, which is pretty cool, even though it always breaks. And then we have the family room here, which is cool. We have all the windows. We have a lot of windows in this house. So it's very open and very bright during the summer. We have a fireplace over there. TV, this sucks though. This thing looks really cool, it's built in, but it means that we couldn't get a bigger TV. So this one's really old and really bad. We'll not miss that TV at all, but then it goes open up to the second level. There's a little balcony, which will go up in a minute. Next, we'll head back here. So this is the mud room straight back that goes down to the garage. We don't really need to head down there, not too interesting. Back here, just a bathroom. There's no light on. There's a light. This was my brother's bathroom, and then this was my brother's room back here. I think this was originally intended to be like more of a guest bedroom, which is why it kind of has its own bathroom there, but he did get a nice view outside. If I can open up his blinds a little bit more so we can actually see. Unless someone's barbecuing, then that would not be a nice view. That would be a weird view. All right, I guess since we're here, I will show you guys this. We'll go in here. It's kind of painted cool. Doesn't show up that well, but it's like silverish mirror. This is a pretty small bathroom. And then back here we have a pantry. Super lucky to have a big pantry. A lot of empty space in it now that no one really lives here anymore. And then we will go over here. This is the den, big office space. The ceiling on here is really cool because it's kind of like raised and then has more trim. 
And then the matching trim on the windows and stuff is pretty cool too. And again, nice views outside, nice big windows. We'll go upstairs and check out my room. We have these windows. When people would come over, I would always stand in here and stare at them until they noticed me. They never did. No one ever notices me. And then as we get up here, you can see out the windows to the back. And then here's my room, which looks so big, especially compared to the room that I live in now. You can see there's a few things left still in my closet. Not too much though, it's pretty empty now. Man, I miss this room. My new room is so small compared to this. But, you guys will know this door very well. If you've watched my stream, that's why you're all here. That's why you're all here for the video. I'm gonna have to put sneak that into the thumbnail or something. Back there is the master bedroom. I'm not sure if anyone is even home. So you can see, no more bed frame, but fireplace and things like that. Pretty nice master. This is just a little tiny room. It's like an office, but the only cool part of it is this little balcony that kind of peers out over our house. Not really sure what the point of that is, but it looks cool. So I guess that's the point. And then back here is the other bedroom. This one was just a spare bedroom. We had some people living with us for a while and they slept in here, but it doesn't really get a lot of use. And then again, a big window out to the backyard. So I think my room actually has the smallest windows in the house. On to the last parts of the video. The laundry room, it's a mess in here, but that's okay. Just your standard laundry room, nothing too exciting. And then this one here was my bathroom. So you can see it's kind of silvery again. It's actually a lot darker than it shows up in here. And then it's kind of a lighter silver back there, but it's just not too exciting of a bathroom. Fun fact, these are really low. They were made for kids, so they're super short. And then probably to the room that you guys will be most interested in, this one back here. This is like our bonus room. It's pretty cool. We have a pool table and then the small table, the round one was up here. And it was kind of just like a hangout place. We have a back deck back here that we never use. It always leaks. It's caused us actually a lot of problems and we would never really go out there much because there's this tree here. So it's not like you can really sit out there or do anything anyways. I think it was mainly just to add extra square footage to the garage. Pool table, there's a little mini bar back there with a mini fridge. Got some more windows over there. And then we have here, this is our home theater system. It was pretty cool. Fun fact, this screen is where I started my YouTube career. I would play Call of Duty on, is it this Xbox? Oh, I guess not. That's not my Xbox one. Did I start on my Xbox 360? That's a good question, I don't know. But I played. Xbox, I played Call of Duty on this screen. It was terrible for recording. It, I couldn't stream from in here. And I only made a few videos at that point, but this is where it all started at. Sitting like a thousand miles away in this seat right here. Let's sit down. It's where it all started, just looking like this. Luckily, I got a monitor pretty soon after, so I didn't have to play on a projector. As you guys know, there's so much latency, it's like the worst thing. But this is really cool. The only thing that sucked is that this room wasn't really made for because it has all these windows. So it gets super bright. We have skylights and stuff in here too. So if I turned it on, you guys would see how bright it is in here. You can barely, barely see the screen at all, which is pretty unfortunate. Made it kind of difficult if you ever want to watch things during the day. But this is a room that we hung out in a lot. Super cool to have a room like this to watch movies, hang out with friends and stuff like that. But anyways, I think that's most of the tour. I'm not gonna show you too much of the master because I think my family that's here might be hanging out there. We might go out to the back briefly. I will meet you guys back there so that we can show you a few things. Okay, we made it back to the back. So a little seating area. We put this in a few years ago to give us some shade. We wanted to actually build a roof here, but it was gonna be super expensive, so we couldn't do that. So we just got this thing and this is another fireplace. This is great at night outdoors. You sit by the fire, you hang out out here. And it's really comfortable. Hopefully it doesn't get too bright. Uh, this actually adjusts pretty well. I'm using a different camera than I normally do, but we have a pretty big yard. It was really nice when we had a dog because we had tons of space to play. We have this barbecue. It's never worked. It looks really cool. It's really fancy, but it never worked. So that sucked. And then sometimes we'll have a table out here during the summer, but no one really ever sits there. It doesn't get a lot of use. Hot tub, that's gotten a lot of use. And then we kind of have a sports court that really does not look very clean. 
I don't know why it looks so dirty right now. We got a little sports court area. I think it was mainly because they needed it for the septic system or something. So it's not really good for anything, but we have it. Uh, and then we will go down here. This is probably the area that I liked the most out here is we have an actual fire pit. We have lots of fireplaces in our house and that's cool, but nothing beats sitting outside in the summer in this fire pit that's filled with all sorts of sand or weird ash. I don't know why it's like that. And then my mom has a little garden back here. Nothing too much planted this year because we were trying to sell our house and stuff, but got some, some plants and trees and that goes back into the garage. And that is the bonus room up there. That's pretty much my whole house. Um, I know I didn't go super, super in depth on anything. Like I said, I don't live here anymore, but I know some of you guys might be curious to see some of the places that I have lived and things like that. I'm hoping to do a house tour of my new place that I just moved to a few days ago, but I have to get that all figured out with everyone else who lives there because there's a lot of people. Here's another outside view of my house if you want to see it. But anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys online.